everybody. Just wanted to take a few minutes to explain what you need to do for project part two. Hopefully by now you have completed project part one and received my feedback on it. If not, you probably need to stop watching this video right now and go back and do that. Do project part one, get my feedback, and then you can come back to project part two. Hopefully everybody has already submitted it and gotten my feedback. Um, and now it's time to take the plan you created in project part one and put it into action and type up your rough draft. So you'll see in the assignment instructions that I have um, a lot of bullet points listed under the submission requirements, and they're mostly all reminders of what you need to um, ensure that you've done for this essay. So remember it is a literary analysis essay on one of the short stories that we've been working with. You are not doing any outside research for it, but you will do the essay in APA format. So that means make sure that it is double spaced, make sure that it is in one of the accepted fonts, make sure you have your title page formatted correctly in, according to APA guidelines, that your header is formatted properly. We are not doing an abstract for this essay since it is not a, a, a traditional research paper, um, so you can skip the abstract page. Remember, the essay itself should be three to four pages, and that's of actual essay, not including the title page or the references page, right? Um, you want to make sure that you have a good introduction that grabs your reader's attention, introduces your topic, and gives your claim or thesis statement at the end. Um, you're going to want well-developed, logically organized body paragraphs. Now, you are probably going to organize the, the paper according to the literary elements you've chosen to discuss about your story. Um, what order you put them in is up to you, so think about how you want to organize your main points. Also remember that each main point might require more than one paragraph to fully discuss it. Um, but however many paragraphs the body of the essay ends up being, remember each paragraph should be focused, one idea per paragraph, nice solid topic sentence with transition in it, um, fully supported that you have specific and adequate support for your paragraph. That's going to mean pulling in specific details from your short story using, you know, some summary and paraphrasing, not necessarily paraphrase, but quotes for sure, um, and that you're citing them in APA format. Make sure you have a good concluding paragraph. Make sure that the essay itself, that we're following your line of reasoning, that you're not just pulling in details, but you're, you know, you're explaining them, you're showing us your line of reasoning, and fully fleshing out all the ideas that you are including in the essay. Um, it should be in APA format, so it will require a reference page. It'll probably only have the one source that you're using, which is the short story. Remember, we're not doing outside research for this. And remember that I will be running all of the rough drafts through a plagiarism checker. So resist that temptation as we've I talked about already. Daddy. Sorry, my kids are here. Um, make sure that you have a nice, solid tone of voice uh, and that you are not super formal and stuffy, but also not too informal and conversational. And do the best with uh, grammar and spelling um, and when you get your rough draft back, you're going to see not only have I given you feedback on your ideas, but I will have marked any grammar errors that I see. And in that week of the course, when you get your rough draft back, I will have a special section in that module with grammar and le uh, mechanics lessons. We are not covering them in class, but I will create a section for them so that you can use those as resources if you get your draft back and you're like, wow, I have a lot of errors. <laughs> um, you know, I'll, I'll give you a place to go where you can see how to correct those. Um, but it is a rough draft. You know, you will receive my feedback on it so that you can revise. But try to give me as complete a draft as you can. The more you give me, the more feedback I'll be able to give you. Okay, um, but it is a rough draft. It is a required component, so remember you have to do this, 
and get my feedback on it in order to pass the class and in order to move on to project part three. If you have any questions or run into any problems at all, let me know.